So what we want to do now is start styling our pages. And we want to style our pages in a responsive way that's going to really take into account the, the way the browser stretched. Now what that means, one of the guiding principles of responsive design is really using percentages. And the majority of our page elements are very flexible and we can use a percentage of it. But there are certain elements that, um, that aren't flexible. And for example, my video. My video has, an, like images, like bitmap image files, it has a native file size, or dimension rather. And those dimensions, while if you bring them down, the quality won't degrade. When you go beyond their dimensions, greater than their dimensions, then you're going to start losing quality. So, for example, my movie is 1280 by 720. So that means that if I go beyond that 1280 dimension, I'm going to lose quality. So, with that in mind, I want to make sure that I define those values specifically in my HTML. And I've actually already done that right here in the video controls. So, um, where in your HTML, where the video is going to sit, add some pixel specific dimensions to that video. It's not going to be it's not going to stay at that video, but ultimately this is going to be its max width. This is going to be as far as it's going to go. And uh also, you know, for all our other browsers, we have an S SVG image, which is vector based, so it could stretch as big as we want, and it's not going to lose anything. But Internet Explorer, on the other hand, is rendering a GIF. A GIF being bitmap, well, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't play that, you know, vector game where it could get as big as it wants and not lose quality. If it goes beyond its native file size, it's going to lose quality. So, I am going to exp explicitly add a width and height for that file, and my. Uh, my image happens to be a perfect square, so uh, when I gave it a width and a height, I gave it the same width as, well, actually when I made it, I made the image at the same width as the maximum width of my video, and I gave it a width and a height to be the same. So, although the majority of our elements are going to be percentage-based, we start with adding some pixel values to our uh, non-responsive elements.